Welcome back to Unity. Now that you've got Unity installed and we've looked at play mode, let's continue with our second walkthrough, getting to know the Unity editor. Click the Show Me button to get started. If you've made changes to the sample scene that you want to keep, hit Save. Otherwise, click Don't Save if you're prompted. In this walkthrough, we're going to continue learning about how to get around the Unity editor. Click Next to begin. The walkthrough is going to highlight two important windows for us, the scene view and the hierarchy window. The scene is the view we will use to look around our scene and make changes to it. The hierarchy window is the list of all of the game objects in that scene. Click Next. We have a few different tools that we can use to interact with our content in Unity. First is the hand tool. This allows us to click and drag in the scene in order to move the view. Notice that the game view doesn't change. This is just so that we can move the view around for editing. Once you've got comfortable with the hand tool, click Next. Orbiting allows us to rotate the scene view in 3D space. Holding the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Mac and clicking and dragging with the left mouse button in the scene allows us to change which direction our scene view camera is looking in. This is just for editing. Again, the game view doesn't change and this won't affect our game. Once you've got the hang of orbiting, click Next. If we want to zoom in or out, we can hold down the Alt key and click and drag with the right mouse button. We can also use the mouse wheel or equivalent touchpad gesture. I'll throw in one extra little tip, which is that if you hold down the right mouse button and use the W, A, S, and D keys on the keyboard, you can fly the camera around in a way that may be familiar from playing video games. This can be a pretty intuitive way to navigate the scene view as well. Click Next once you're done trying the different approaches out. Now, let's shift our focus to the project window. Unity is a creative tool which can integrate the output from many other creative tools like image files, 3D models, or audio files. In Unity, we refer to these as assets. We can also create certain types of assets in Unity, like, for example, materials, which control how objects look, or scripts, which contain code. All the assets in our project can be navigated and organized via the project window. Click Next. When you're done, click the Done button. Now that we have a better idea of how to get around, in the next video, we're going to look at how to change the color of our cart. I'll see you there.